It's called Honor Flight. It's a major effort to get veterans to see all the memorials in Washington, D.C. Syracuse did its first last fall, and we're getting set for the second. And we want to set the stage for you this morning. Meet Sal Bonacore, who is a veteran. He is also a veteran of Mission One from Syracuse. And Kara Keyes is with Honor Flight on the staff. She is with the health and safety team. Sal, this was the experience of a lifetime, wasn't it? I think so. As part of our mission, any World War II veteran who puts an application in is definitely going to be able to go on the mission. We have wheelchairs for every single veteran, whether they use them or not. We bring them on the plane with us and on all the buses. There's a chaperone that goes with each vet, right? Yes, we call them their guardians. Guardians. My and son was my guardian. Yeah. I never realized how proud my son was of me. I, and be mothered hands. In other words, he made sure, follow instructions, that I had everything I wanted. It costs a lot of money, and the rest of the year, besides planning, you're fundraising. We do a lot of fundraising, absolutely. Every single veteran that goes on one of our missions actually goes for free. They do not pay a penny. They don't do anything at all because they have all sacrificed so much that this is a small token of respect that we can show them how much we appreciate everything that they've done. Right now, for October 5th, which is going to be our second mission, we actually are honored to have a bigger plane than the, our first mission. Our first mission, we brought 27 veterans, but on our mission two, we're gonna bring about 60 to wow. 63 veterans. Honor Flight Mission 2 coming up in October. There is the information. Veterans can sign up now. They also need guardians, and most of all, they need volunteers from the community in all kinds of jobs. Please get involved. It's a good thing for the community. Hope you've learned something this morning.